to number eight, the uh, decision regarding the shared services of the inter-municipal municipal agreement between the town of Cicero and North Syracuse to share code services. as previously discussed um, that we we have an agreement with North Syracuse at the present time um, which uh, my dean uh, does inspections and sorry Wayne you do inspections and uh, represent the code office of meetings brings $2,000 uh, a month revenue into the town. Um, the agreement is to extend uh, this agreement for six months and uh, while the new codes officer is up to speed and is allowed uh, to, uh, needs to take the test, these tests are not given um, that often and um, she's prepared to take the test. It's just a matter of waiting for that time. So with that, I'd like to ask for discussion from the board. All right, I'll open the discussion. I, I would like to make a, an offer on that. I suggest that we just extend it until the end of December, the end of our fiscal year. This would give time for North Syracuse to do some investigation, maybe do a little pushing to try to find out and expedite the test. I realize they don't control it. However, I think if we extend it through the end of December, that gives them roughly four months. And at that time, if we should find out the test is being offered, let's say in January, we'll extend it a month at that time. But I, I think uh, four months would be sufficient to the end of the year. Is it, in supervisor, maybe you know, is there any long-term discussions under the shared service agreement we generate about two thousand dollars a month. That's right. And is there have you any discussions with North Syracuse perhaps making this a permanent yeah. agreement as to a shared service agreement where once perhaps they find somebody they can do a part time arrangement. I don't know if it be worth not at this time they no. do have someone that is that is there now and um, Wayne is working with her and uh, bringing her up to speed. Um, and in the interim of waiting for her to be able to take the, the test. And that's, that's the hold up, that they have uh, the ability to hire her full time, but not until after she takes the test. But, but they, they have no, they, have no, um, oh, they don't want any type of uh, long-term establishment. That has not room. been brought to our attention at this time, no. What if she, she they, they cannot uh, hire her full time until she passes the test. Mm -hmm. What if she doesn't pass the test? Then I have to hire somebody be, off the list. That would be an issue. Yeah. And not ours. It would be the issue of North Syracuse, not ours. Yeah, uh, maybe worthwhile pursuing that discussion with North Syracuse for some, some, right. some type of long term agreement with them. How's the workload, Wayne? I know you've, that's been a concern. It's, it, no, it's like I said last, at the last meeting, it's hectic and fine. Okay. But it seems to be working out. Okay. <laughs> Discussion? Well, I'd just like to um, I'd just like to add that I'm not comfortable with extending this agreement for four months, um, just and then to evaluate the situation at the end of the year. That coincides with the end of our fiscal year, and I, I think that um, you know we have to look at our our staffing situation and our um, whatever budgetary constraints we wait, we may have at that time. So. I am not comfortable going beyond the end of the year with this arrangement. Okay. Um, so I'll make that informal motion. Why you make that informal motion? <laughs> so um, move. Okay. That um, we we will renew our inter-municipal agreement for shared services with North Syracuse until uh, 12 31 2010 and um, if at that time the test 
test is that still available for their codes enforcement officer that we will re reopen and reevaluate it in advance? Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Ms. Sinbrano? Yes. Mr. Coro? Yes. Ms. Boyke? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. Now we're looking to set the uh, a public hearing for the increase in improvements of the lighting district number three in the Birches. This is just to basically add lights in an existing district. Uh, we have to get a public hearing to do that. So. I would just ask the board to set a date of public hearing for September 22nd. September 22nd. Where in Cicero is that? This is in Burton. The Burton's is off of uh, <coughs> Guyon Road in Burton. Guyon Road. Okay. Guyon Road. Guyon Road. Guyon Road. I'll make the motion to set the public hearing for the improvements to the lighting district number three, the purchase for September 22nd, 2010. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Ms. Simbrano? Yes. Mr. Coro? Yes. Ms. Boyke? Yes. Uh, and number 10 is to set the public hearing to extend the lighting district and increase improvements on Eva Circle to include Nates Lane and Lana Lane. This is similar except that uh, what we're doing here is extending an existing district to encompass a couple more streets. Uh, again, you still have to go through a public hearing to do that. There's been a petition by the... And this is a new development? Yes, there's been a petition by the homeowners. Okay. Um, Are we setting up for September? Sure. I'll make a motion to set the public hearing for um, the lighting proposal for Nates Lane area for September 22nd. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Ms. Zimbrano? Yes. Mr. Coral? Yes. Ms. Boyke? Yes. Number 11 is with the approval of the contract documents for the Pathfinder Bank Sewer Extension, the Cicero Sewer District. Extension number 42. Discussion? Said none. <laughs> Make a motion to approve the contract documents for the Pathfinder Bank Sewer Extension, Sewer District Extension number 42. Second. Mr. Conway? Yeah. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Mr. Zimbrano? Yes. Mr. Coro? Yes. Ms. Boyke? Yes. <coughs> Number 12 is uh, the approval for Jennifer Bowers uh, in the Justice Department to attend a judicial training, uh, district training on February, uh, February Friday, <laughs> October 1st. Or a fee of ten dollars. The supervisor, can we also include court clerk Penny Chase? Yes. Ten dollars. <laughs> wow, I don't so know. Right the <laughs> uh, where is the uh, training? I have a piece of paper that's in. Uh, All road Syracuse. Okay. I'll make a motion <coughs> to approve the for Jennifer Bowers and Penny Chase to attend the Judicial District training on Friday, October 1st. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Ms. Zimbrano? Yes. Mr. Coro? Yes. Ms. Blakey? Yeah. Could, could I suggest that, you know, do we have to vote on $10? I mean, I see more higher fees for petty cash than that, you know, with a higher approval. So. I think it's the, yes, the, the, the fact that you're going to a training yes. as opposed to a yes. Not the money, it's a training. It's a training. training to leave and go to a training. Well, let, let's not discuss fees and then future visits. No, I'm, I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah. 